This is HDD process used for laying an underground pipeline through a drill hole below a river or below a rail line where excavation of earth is not possible. Let us see the entire HDD process. Usually underground pipe is laid minimum 1 meter below floor level like this. This is elevation view. First earth is compacted and then 150 millimeter of sand bed or gravel bed is provided and underground pipe rests over this sand bed. This is elevation view. In sectional view installation of underground pipeline looks like this. First earth is cut in this type of V-shape manner. Then earth bottom is compacted. This is compacted earth. Then 150 millimeter of sand bed or gravel bed or stone dust is provided. Then UG pipe is laid over this sand bed and UG pipe is provided with wrapping and coating or 3LP means 3 layer of polyethylene coating. Minimum 1 meter should be the depth from FGL to top of pipe and from side minimum 150 millimeter should be there. This is the sectional view of underground pipe installation through open trench. Then after installation excavated earth filled for backfilling like this. Now suppose this is ground level and this is river. This is river or rail line or national highway and we have to lay underground pipeline below this river or rail line or national highway where excavation and backfilling is not possible. For laying in this type of situation means laying below river or, or below national highway or below rail line actually HDD process is done. HDD means horizontal directional drilling. Using HDD process we can cross this river or rail line or national highway. For laying the pipeline by HDD process means horizontal direction drilling process actually first the root survey is done that means pipeline laying root is decided say like this and on the both end of the root two pits are made this is one pit and this is another pit this side pit is called entry pit And this side pit is called exit pit. And this entire HDD process consists of three steps. Step 1 is piloting or pilot boring. Step 2 is rimming. Rimming means enlarging existing hole by back pulling. And step 3 is pipe pulling. Now coming to first step piloting or pilot boring. In first step, 
this HDD machine is placed close to entry pit and from this HDD machine drill pipes are fed that means drill pipes are pushed and rotated through this entry pit like this. Each drill pipe is of 2 inch diameter having threaded ends and each drill pipe is 3 meter long. After pushing one drill pipe, another drill pipe is joined and pushed. So first 3 meter is pushed, then 6 meter is pushed like this. Drill pipe diameter is 2 inch and at the beginning of first drill pipe this drill bit is mounted. This drill bit diameter is about 3 inch or 4 inch. On the drill bit one sensor is provided. That sensor senses the location of drill bit and send the signal to the HDD machine so that HDD operator can control the location of drill bit. During this drilling process, drilling fluid is also pumped through this pipe. That drilling fluid contains 95% water plus 5% bentonite. Bentonite provides stability of the drill hole. So after some time drill bit comes here, then after some time drill bit comes here, then after some time drill bit comes here, then finally drill bit comes and exit at the exit pit like this. And during the drilling the cut earth that means mud is pushed back towards entry pit. So finally the path will be or drill path will be like this and diameter of this drill path will be about 4 inch and drill pipe comes out from the exit pit like this. This is first step called pilot boring or piloting. Now you can see step 1 that means piloting or pilot boring from entry pit side. This is entry pit. Now drill pipes are rotated and pushed through the entry pit by HDD machine. This is HDD machine and these are 2 inch drill pipes. Those are pushed one after another through the entry pit. You can see that HDD machine is coming towards the entry pit and pushing the drill pipe. Now you can see that first step that means Pilot boring is completed and drill pipe with drill bit has come out from exit pit. This is the drill bit mounted with the drill pipe. Now step 1 that means pilot boring is completed. Now second step is rimming. Rimming means enlarging existing hole by back cutting tool. In first step the drill hole was made and, and drill hole size was 4 inch and this is the drill pipe. In second step means rimming 
at the end of the drill pipe reamer is provided like this this is called reamer or back cutting tool it look like this to enlarge this drill hole first this drill hole size was 4 inch now the drill bit is removed and this reamer is mounted at the end of drill pipe and then the drill pipe is pulled in the same path by hdd machine like this so after some time this reamer comes here then it comes here and enlarges the existing drill hole the enlargement in each stage will be about 150% so initially drill hole size was 4 inch from 4 inch it will be 6 inch then reamer location is here then again after pulling reamer location will be somewhere here then again after pulling reamer location will be somewhere here then finally reamer will come out in the entry pit during this reaming also during this reaming process also drilling fluid or reaming fluid is pumped that is 95% water and 5% bentonite and it is pumped through the drill pipe so in first step after pulling and rotating the drill pipe along with the reamer this existing hole increases to 6 inch from 4 inch then again another larger size reamer is mounted in this edge and again it is pulled like this from this hdd machine side one after another drill pipe will be pulled and drill pipe will be removed so that this will come here this will come here come here and like this and this drill path will be enlarged so from 6 inch it will become 150% means say 10 inch then in another stage it will become 16 inch like this if we want to install one 12 inch line through this drill hole then this drill hole diameter should be 30% more of line size that means drill hole diameter should be approximately 16 inch so to achieve 16 inch drill hole first is 4 inch then after first reaming it becomes 150% more 6 inch then again another reaming it becomes 10 inch then again another reaming it becomes 16 inch and during the entire reaming process also this fluid is pumped that means 5% bentonite plus 95% water so that this drill path become stable and this fluid means all debris goes to the entry pit during reaming this drill pipe rotates and the reamer also rotates and when the drill pipe is pulled this reamer is rotated and cuts back the earth and enlarges the hole and finally reamer comes out from the entry pit this is step 2 that means reaming now drill bit has been removed from the drill pipe and the reamer has been attached with the drill pipe this is the reamer now reamer is being pulled by drill pipe from exit pit side towards entry pit side by hdd machine on exit pit side drill pipe is connected one after another behind the reamer and on entry pit side drill pipe is taken out one after another now the reamer is going towards entry pit side and the reamer is enlarging the drill hole from 4 inch to 6 inch
now after first run of rimming the rimmer is coming out at entry pit that means entire underground drill hole has been enlarged from 4 inch to 6 inch this is second run of rimming and the rimmer is coming out at entry pit after enlarging drill hole from 6 inch to 10 inch and this is third run of rimming and the rimmer is coming out at entry pit after enlarging drill hole from 10 inch to 16 inch now rimming process is complete and 12 inch line can be pulled through 16 inch drill hole now coming to third step that means pipe pulling say this green color is the pipe which has to be laid below the river this pipe is placed over the roller these are the rollers to reduce the friction then this last rimmer like this say this is the last rimmer this last rimmer is attached with the beginning of the pipe with a swivel with a swivel joint like this so that when rimmer rotates then pipe will not rotate that means pipe will be torsion free then again this is pulled like this in this path through the HDD machine using same drill pipe and from this side one after another drill pipe is pulled and removed from the machine so after some time this rimmer comes somewhere here like this and pipe comes here like this then after some time pipe comes somewhere here and rimmer comes here like this then finally pipe comes out from the pit entry pit like this and rimmer also comes out like this in this way the pipe is pulled through this drilled path in this manner up to the entry pit like this if we want to lay say the pipe size is 12 inch so this final hole size means final drill size or rimmer size should be 30 percent more that means say 16 inch so this final drill hole means final rimmer drill hole should be 16 inch that means through the 16 inch drill hole we are pulling 12 inch pipeline and this pipe pulling process should be continuous that means cannot be stopped if this pipe pulling is stopped at some place then it will be difficult to pull it further so this pipe pulling process should not be stopped when it is started this pipe pulling process should be continuous from exit pit to entry pit side otherwise the pipe will get stuck inside the earth and may not be pulled further and another point since the pipe arc length is huge having huge bend radius so localized thinning of pipe thickness will be negligible now third step that means pipe pulling now HDD machine is pulling drill pipes from entry pit side from exit pit side pipe is getting pulled towards entry pit side this is the last rimmer and this is the swivel to prevent rotation of pipe During pulling, pipe moves over the roller so that pulling friction will be less. This is the roller.
during pipe pulling from entry pit side after every 3 meter of pulling one 3 meter long drill pipe is removed from the system now you can see how one drill pipe is removed After removing one drill pipe, HDD machine comes towards the entry pit for continuing further pulling of drill pipe. Now threaded drill pipe is tightened and pulling activity is continued. Now HDD machine is pulling the drill pipe. Due to the pulling by HDD machine, pipe is gradually going towards the drill hole in exit pit side. Now the pipe is gradually entering into the drill hole. Now from exit pit side pipe is going towards entry pit through underground drill hole. Now the pipe has been pulled to the entire underground drill path and the pipe is coming out in entry pit. This is the pipe with muds and debris on outer surface. Now the entire HDD process is complete that means underground pipe has been laid below the river or below the rail line from exit pit to entry pit.